Hey guys, Plumber Tom here. This video is for plumbing professionals and apprentices in training who are looking for a better understanding of the backwater valve and when that should be installed. He is a master plumber. He is a plumbing contractor. He is a plumbing instructor with over 20 years of plumbing experience. He is Plumber Tom. Let's think for a minute. What happens when the sewer in the street gets blocked? Sewage would of course back up and the overflow point is the manhole on the street above. But what happens to a house if it's connected to that sewer and the basement or even more of that house is below that overflow point? Well naturally that sewage is going to come right back into the house. Thankfully some ingenious engineers have designed what is called a backwater valve this will allow the drainage from the house to pass through, but if there's a blockage outside at the sewer, it will stop any of that from coming back into the house. Alright guys, so this is a backwater valve made by Sioux Chief. You can see on it, a backwater valve does have to be installed with a certain direction of flow. You can see there's a flap in there that's going to allow waste to come through but will not allow sewage to come back in if it backs up. One thing I really like about this kit from Sioux Chief is that it comes with a barrel that would rise up out of the floor and a nice finish plate that even says right on it backwater valve. That just sets on top. So when they designed the cover for this backwater valve I imagine they were just thinking, well, what do you have on hand that you could use to open it? It's designed so that you would use a 2x4, stick it down in the hole, and twist this lid off with that 2x4. And when you get the lid off, you'll find this is, this is their improved design. There's a ring here that holds it in place, but that is the, the flapper itself. And there's only one way that this can be installed, and that way you can't mess up the flapper but uh, you want to make sure that this is nice and tight let's go over to commentator Tom for some details on installation hey in order to understand where we would want to install a backwater valve let's have a look at a neighborhood built on a hill with identical houses you can see the incline of the street house number one is up the hill house number two somewhere in the middle and house number three is down the hill below the street we're going to find a city sewer that's where all of the sewers from the houses would connect. Connections would come straight out of the basement. You can see a level line from the top of the manhole. If we examine house number one, all of the fixtures are above the manhole level. House number one does not need a backwater valve. House number two has fixtures in the basement below the level of the manhole. So only the fixtures in the basement would need a backwater valve. But house number three has all fixtures, main floor and basement, below the sewer line. So it would need all of the fixtures running through a backwater valve. Let's join Plumber Tom as he's just finished the underground piping for this two-story house. A quick look at the plan reveals an unfinished basement with a future bath and a mechanical room behind the unexcavated wall of the garage. On the main floor, we find a half bathroom by the three-car garage and a kitchen sink towards the back of the house. A look at the second floor reveals a large master bathroom with multiple fixtures, a main bathroom, and a laundry, all of which will need drainage piping. Let's have a look at Plumber Tom's plan of action. The main sewer line comes in through the front under the cold storage. He will tie into the main sewer, run the building drain through the hallway, under the future bathroom, and into the mechanical room branching off for upstairs fixtures oh and he's putting the backwater valve in the mechanical room excellent move all basement fixtures would then be on the backwater valve over to you plumber tom all right so it's friday friday evening i got a nice sunset but that was of course after getting like completely soaked in the rain kind of refreshing after having you know dug and sweat the whole day but uh, a little bit of a surprise. I'm just working here on this uh, underground. Got it finished. Ready for test. I'm going to take it down and give you a look here. 
Build some bridges. Just make it easier for accidents. And here we are. I'm just gonna walk you through this real quick. This is that same house we were looking at the plans. And this is the cold storage under the front porch. This is where we did our tie-in. Did run that sewer into the further into the house than I wanted. I didn't want to dig it up in that corner, so I just kind of intercepted it there, created a connection, put my test on that T there. So that's this main sewer going out, our building drain, right? Yeah, as it comes through this cold storage. Watch out for that guy. Yeah. Just gonna kind of follow it through here. That's the main line building drain, right? And you can see off to the right side, a couple of stacks going up as we discussed. And on the left, we have our bathroom group. We'll follow that through here. Stack for half bathroom washer upstairs. Now, notice I've branched off before the backwater valve to the other upstairs stack. We got our backwater valve, floor drain. And I've turned it around. Yeah, there's a little uh, redundancy in pipe there. I had to come over and then back. But I felt like better to have that backwater valve here in the mechanical room, the wall somewhere, you know, there, than to have it underneath that sink over in the corner and harder to get to. So we have our wet vented bathroom group, uh, lav, toilet, and tub. Let's discuss the need for that backwater valve there. Inside the house, if we come outside the house, follow it back up. What we're looking for is the sewer, right? Sewer manhole. Anything below the upstream manhole is going to need to be on that backwater valve. In this particular house, sewer is really not far. In fact, uh, it's right there next to my truck. So there's our sewer. And if we have a look out here, Main's coming in. That's to be the sewer, right? In this corner. So we trace that back and say, well, upstream from that, definitely be definitely be this manhole here. We'll just put the basement on that backwater valve. Now, as we look around the area, that street's pretty flat, but there's quite a bit of grade up above us. And I had worried that we might have a manhole up this hill. But as it turned out, we didn't. All right, guys, hopefully this has been a helpful tutorial for you on what a backwater valve is and how and when it should be installed. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and feel free to leave any comments in the box below. Thanks a lot.